creatures into cuties halloween is coming up and i decided we're gonna um do a countdown and i'm gonna try to draw as many creatures into my style as a cute version as possible until halloween comes up so i hope you like this this is the first part of it okay guys now i'm gonna start sketching and after the sketch and all the body proportions i'm going to start with the head and the head i'm going i don't want to go super anime style so i just made the eyes in a cute version but the eyes were actually pretty confusing so I decided to do them at the end this was just a plan and this is my second sketch just to see how she would be posing and how her hair would look so um, her hair I decided to work on later too and here's the finished part with all the sketch gone and her eyes look okay-ish but they just look a little too mean so I added eyelashes maybe tried to fix it a bit but um, yeah I decided we could work on that later. The fangs and the smile just looked a little too evil and maybe too upper nose, so I made it a little more downward and made it a little more smiley. And here's her clothing. She has like a little overcoat or something and she has a red shirt underneath. And um, yeah, the color scheme was just red and black as how vampires are. And at first I didn't know the difference of vampires and Draculas, but then uh, I realized um, vampires are just a group of people who like uh, monsters that suck blood and Dracula is one of the famous ones. So I started doing the outline, cleaning up everything and started coloring them. Um, I didn't want it to look too like solid and um, not like cartoony. So I went over and started to shade it um, and added more details to this and to the little skirt she's wearing. I think she's wearing a dress underneath because it doesn't really look like it's separated. So um, yeah, I started um, keeping all the details in place and adding her legs. I decided to add um, tights to her, but the fabric just didn't look right with her. So I was like, I just left that out. And her skin tone is like just a little medium tan. And I went over it again, it was pretty messy. So, and the hair, I did not want to go with plain black. Plain black is just, I don't know, too plain, like normal vampires. So I went over with some reddish pink for her little um, hair and uh, started to add more clean finish and went over with some shadows. The shadows really did help make it look really good. And I'm planning to do this with other monsters that people will know. Um, and then maybe I can progress this one. I just wanted to start off a little simple Because um, I got this idea from another youtuber, so um, I'm not gonna name her but yeah, she is really good and She got and I got this idea from her and I was like wow, this is amazing And I started doing it. So maybe on Halloween like I might be doing more of these more often and now I decided to make her hair a little bit more real her hair was just way too solid of a shape with the outline just didn't feel right so we started to uh, mess around with the little smudge and this is on ibis paint guys um it's a really cool app to draw um digitally so um i'm recommending that and um yeah also her hair yeah it was just way too solid so i decided to take the little outlines off clean up everything and start re-outlining her face and it, this is not i'm not good at anime eyes so i just went over with the eyes that fit her the most and um this little vampire girl um yeah there are some things little easter eggs hidden like her shoes her shoes um i did not expect them to come out the way they are they kind of look like little coffins which is the easter egg pretty much and after i outlined it that's when i realized wow these look like little coffins because that's where the vampires are usually are so i went over with some red outlining and added little v's to her um shoes and i added a d i have no idea why i did that but yeah 
And now we went over at the background and I started to mess around and see if everything was good. And um, yeah, she was all set. She just needed a little more cleanup. And her shoes, um, I changed it to a D, like I said. A V and a D. I have no idea why, but yeah, I haven't named her yet either. I added her little bat wings on her head as a little accessory because vampires do turn into bats, I think. Yeah. So and this part was really satisfying. It was like erasing her and then all you could see is her eyes. So yeah, um, I'm going to be doing more of these with different people. And I'm not just going to be drawing girls. I'll be drawing guys too in my own style. And I really love this. This was really fun. It took me one hour because I was kind of like stuck in some places. But um, yeah, would have gone a little quicker if I had planned everything out at first. And also um, his... So, like, here's a comparison, and I think mine's looks way more, like, not so scary. But I really like mine's, and the bat wings and the hair just look way unique. And here are her little coffin shoes, her little, um, cape. I don't know what you call that, but, yeah, and I added a little more shading to the arms. I know I could have done better with the vampire girl's, um, hair and, um, cleanup finish, but, yeah, I'm gonna do more better poses soon with the other monsters that I'm gonna turn into my style. I hope you liked this video. Please subscribe to our channel if you haven't, and like this video if you do. Bye!